Hello and welcome to part 5 of my DVD slash Blu-ray collection. Today we're going to look at my 007 movies I own on Blu-ray and DVD. And I'm going to do them by actors to play them. First up is Sean Conn. I have Dr. No from Russia with Love. Goldfinger and Thunderball Ball. Ones to check out from him are definitely the first three movies. Dr. No from Russia with Love and Goldfinger. On um, actually and on Blu-ray.com, this uh, Goldfinger got perfect five stars or five Bs for video quality. So if you want to show off your TV this is one to get. Moving on to Roger Moore's uh, reign as 007, I have Love and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, Moonraker, and For Your Eyes Only. One to check out by him, on, done by him, is Love and Let Die. And Moonraker. The only one I have that has to me Dalton in it is License to Kill. And then Pierce Bronson I own is The World is Not Enough and Die Another Day. This is probably my least favorite James Bond movie. Next up is Daniel Craig. I have this one on DVD actually, and that's Consurreal and Quantum Solace. I want to show you this real quick. This is why I feel uh, Blu ray is kind of getting chip on uh, cl nice collector edition. Because look at this. Look how nice it is. You know, nice hard cardboard, nicely done pictures. Hope oh, this slides out. Have Dan Cray on the front, Eva Green and Dan Cray on the back. Opens up. This sheet is just what is on the back. Listing the features on all three discs. But this one goes there. Disc two. Disc two and three. There. And look at that. Look how nice that is. And then in the middle here is the book. Look. Just talks about the movie. Come on. Why can't we get something nice like this on Blu ray? I mean, come on. I don't know if the Blu ray has this book, but if it even does, it would not be as nice as this set. And that's why I have not upgraded this on Blu ray yet. Because I love, I absolutely love this set. And if I do upgrade, I'm definitely going to hold on to this. Because it, it looks nice on the shelf. And just looks nice in general on your, in your DVD collection. So, yeah. And then, I just want to talk about this. This is a going time a James Bond movie. Has been a direct sequel to the last one. So, if you can watch this, definitely watch Consume Royale before you do. Or you'll be lost. All of them besides The Man with the Golden Gun and License to Kill and Concealer Royale actually came in this 10 pack I had. I actually have all of them in that 10 pack until I got The Man with the Golden Gun and License to Kill, which were not featured in that set. The only kind of problem I have with that set is they did not come with slip covers. So when I bought these, these did. So it's kind of a little inconsistent with the set. No. Having non slip covers and then just two of the slip covers. Um, it would have been nice to have that had slip covers in them. I don't keep them in that box anymore because I want to keep them, uh, nor how they release. So I took them all out and just have them separate on the shelf. 
come back from my next part where I go over my action adventure moves. Until next time, brew out.